Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And so I told you guys, you know, because I am testing out Helium Mobile, I'm going to continuously update you guys with the more info that I'm able to find out. And especially through the help of friends like Lawrence, who's also just been, you know, very, uh, you know, helpful and, you know, pointing me in the right directions to kind of just do my research and everything like that. So a uh, big shout out to him. But anyways, let me get into the whole hotspot thing. So we're going to focus on the hotspot in today's video. Pretty much just talk about that because um, there's, you know, questions and concerns. Um, I had questions and concerns about the hotspot. But now that, you know, I've been able to do the research and everything, I'm able to understand how all this works. So without further ado, let's kind of talk about the hotspots. There are two devices that you can pretty much pick up if you want to help deploy a network for Helium Mobile. One of them is an outdoor hotspot node that you mount outside. One of them is an indoor that you would mount in, you know, inside a building. And this provides connection for Helium Mobile customers to connect to Helium's network. Yes, Helium is a peer-to-peer -peer mesh coverage type of service. Um, so in order for you to have these hotspots, number one, you would need a uh, home internet or business internet if you're going to deploy at, you know, place of work. Uh, you need an internet router because that's how the signal gets to Helium customers' phones. Now, question that I got yesterday, and it's a pretty good question, some people want to know, is that when you're connected to Helium's actual network, does it show the Wi-Fi icon on your phone or does it show LTE 5G? And I'll be the first to tell you guys that it shows 5G LTE. You're not connecting to these nodes via Wi-Fi access. That's not how you're connecting to it. They're deploying signal for your smartphone to be able to pick up on and connect. So it'll still say 5G um, if you're, you know, like the router connects to your device. And it's only phones that can connect to it. Those with the Helium SIM card can connect to it. So you can have a T-Mobile SIM card in your phone. You can have a Boost Mobile SIM card in your phone. You're not connecting to the signal being dispersed from the outdoor or indoor hotspots. Um, you have to have a Helium SIM, whether it's eSIM or physical SIM card. That's the only way you're connecting to it. So it's not like a Wi-Fi repeater that you know repeats signals to laptops and tablets and other IOTs that are Wi-Fi dependent. It's nothing to that nature. So that's a good thing. Right. That kind of just like allows you to understand like, OK, well, you know, so it's only Helium customer devices. It's only them connecting to it to have a signal for data and, you know, uh, calls and texting. Right. Because, you know, VOLTE and of course, RCS messaging, iMessage, FaceTime, um, Google Meets, like all those things are data dependent uh, sources of being able to communicate. So with this, um, you know, that's. That's pretty much providing the coverage. You know, I was shocked to see as to how many um, hotspots are actually deployed in my city. Uh, yesterday's live stream, I kind of showed that on the live stream with the, you know, the Explorer map to be able to see uh, where this is at. So, yeah, good to know that, you know, there are uh, those who actually got the hotspots in my city and are deploying it. So that's the reason why I can say that there's not at any given point in time where it's switched over from a 5G icon of the T-Mobile network to, you know, a Wi-Fi uh, triangle icon because there's hotspots deployed in downtown of my city. And when I went down there, not any, any time did it, you know, actually like show a Wi-Fi icon. So those that want to know, you guys are safe there. Um, I like can say that, that, that the handoff is reliable because at times, you know, I'm using my phone if I'm driving through, you know, uh, downtown Phoenix and, and the outer perimeter of it. Um, and you know, I've been very busy lately in the last couple of weeks doing all these different things. Uh, there wasn't at times where like, I was like, oh my gosh, you know, like my phone's a little bit sluggish for like a second or two or anything like that. Something that would, you know, indicate to you that there was some sort of handoff. Uh, you won't feel that when using the services. It's just smooth sailing. Um, and, you know, I did a couple of speed tests, you know, to kind of test out network connectivity and access. And, you know, it was pretty much stable. I mean, at a certain point where I knew where I was connected to a Helium hotspot and I ran a speed test and it was pretty awesome and fast. Um, on the similar point to if I just, you know, was in an area where there was no Helium hotspot and it was completely dependent on T-Mobile then uh, the speeds were actually pretty good. So when they talk about dynamic coverage, they are literally talking about it and you are getting it in the form of connecting to either the Helium hotspot network or T-Mobile 5G.
So I just wanted to update you guys on that. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are, questions, concerns, emotional outbursts in the comment section of the video. And thanks for checking out today's video. I'll talk to you on the next one. Peace.